Welcome everyone to the 2019 MCCP Gala. Tonight we are, we have a theme, we are celebrating our community champions of children's health. My name is Caroline Law. I'm the president of the board of directors for MCCP. I've been on the board for several years. And I have a couple of things I wanted to share with you tonight. One is, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about who we are as an organization. I know many of you here have been long-standing partners, long-standing supporters, but some of you may be new and you may not know too much about us, so I thought I'd just take a minute or two to give you a little bit of background about us as an organization and what we do. We want to highlight some of the examples of our great accomplishments this year and show you a little bit about the impact that we have on the community. And we most importantly want to thank you. We want to make sure that you feel that embrace and that appreciation for all of your support and all of the sponsorship and donations that you've provided for us over the, the many years and the years to come. And we want to make sure that we take the time to, to truly thank you for that um, benefit. So let me take a minute to tell you about who we are. For those of you new to us, we are an award-winning public-private partnership with Fairfax County. We serve uninsured children of working families. All of those words are very meaningful to us. We've been doing this for 38 years, which is quite a long time. For those of you that have been with the organization for a long time, we used to just cover medical care. Over the years, we've been able to expand and to reach out, to broaden our outreach. And for the last couple years, we've been able to add dental in as well. And at this point in the organization, we are able to offer comprehensive care for both medical and dental for all of the children in the program. <laughs> it's a big accomplishment. It's taken years to get there. Let's talk about our size and our impact. MCCP is small but it is a powerhouse. So why do I say it's small? It's small because everything you see tonight, the programs we're gonna talk about, the impact that we've had are managed. Do you have any idea how many people manage that? Could you guess? Look at the gorgeous room, right? I would guess 15, 30, it's two individuals that do the management of this organization. Let me tell you a little bit about them, and I, I won't brag too much, but I'll tell you a little bit about them. The executive director is Marcia Toomey. I'm sure she's re responsible for almost why everybody is in this room tonight, so thank you very much. She's fantastic at outreach. She's fantastic at engagement, and she has a true vision for the organization, which we'll get to in a few minutes. If you haven't seen it already, we'll spend a little bit of time talking about it. And Eva Starek, she is our Director of Development and Community Outreach. She keeps us all on track. She is uh, one of our main uh, fundraisers, and she makes sure that we stay on the straight and narrow. So thank you very much to her as well. So the organization is managed by two individuals. Um, and let's talk a little bit about the numbers. I am an accountant, so the, the, the numbers are very important to me. And I'll just give you a couple little Thank you for those accountants in the room. <laughs> Love that, right? I don't, our, yeah. <laughs> so I'll give you a few statistics just so you have, so you can walk away with some of the impact. So in fiscal year 2019, we provided access to both medical and dental care for over 3,300 children in Fairfax County. We have very dear program partners, many of whom are in this room, that have expanded that to provide pro bono dental care to an additional 768 children, representing $300,000 of services. All pro bono. And the last thing I thought I would mention, just in my brief summary of our impact for the year, is our van. Did everybody see it outside? Did you all get to tour around it? We absolutely love that. It's almost, I think it might be a, a third child to Marcia. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
but it's our mobile dental van. And the beauty of the mobile dental, dental van is that it's mobile. It can go to the children that need it the most. It can actually travel to community events. It does travel to community events. It travels to Fairfax County Public Schools. We work with the social workers and the, the principals in the schools to arrange when to go, the timing to go, and who to, to see. It has an enormous impact. It solves a lot of those problems where the parents need to take off time off of work to take the kids to see, get a dental screening. A lot of times if they take the time off work, they are not paid for that time off, so it's quite a burden on the families. They don't necessarily have the transportation to get to those appointments, so it really solves a lot of those, those administrative problems for a lot of the kids in need. The van was launched August 8th, so it's only been around for a little bit more than three months. And in that three month period, just a couple more statistics, it has done completed dental screenings for over 400 children in our county, and it's visited eight Fairfax County schools. So I ask you, how does MCCP do all of this amazing work, all of these fantastic partnerships with a staff of two? It's really everybody in this room. It's all of the supporters, it's all of the partnerships, it's the engagement we have from you all as the community, it's the support of Fairfax County. All of us together do that. So we want to make sure that you feel that appreciation. Tonight is a celebration of that. Thank you to everybody here, genuinely, who has contributed anything to the organization. Every piece of it counts, every piece of it matters. Just to talk a little bit about some of the things that that may look like is we we do have a legislative breakfast in December. It's extremely powerful. It's very engaging. If you've attended that, thank you. If you've participated, been on a panel, if you've engaged in the discussion about health care and legislative issues, that's extremely impactful. If you've volunteered your time, a lot of you even volunteered your time to help us get the gala set up tonight and to make sure the room is as beautiful as it is and the flowers and maybe the fireplace just turns on, I don't know, but thank you very much for that. <laughs> Offering your pro bono services, many of you in the room have done that, and making any donation of time, money, or other resources to the organization is appreciated. So thank you very much. So I thought I'd just take a minute and talk to you a little bit about why I give. I am not a doctor. I do not work in the medical industry. I'm an accountant. I work in housing. I work at Fannie Mae. Why on earth do I give to this organization? I am very passionate about children. I care very deeply about our community. And what I love about MCCP is it connects those two things together. It's directly impacting children and it's directly impacting children that are among us, that are our children, that live and interact with us on a daily basis. Your children, some of your children may be in the program. If not, your friends are probably friends with these children. So to make sure that they're given that care is extremely important to me. The other thing I love about MCCP, from a financially minded person, the fiscal responsibility that the program has is extremely impressive to me. I was a treasurer for the program for several years. I'm very deep into the finances here. I know them very well. And the way your dollar gets stretched and the way it's empowering the programs, there's so little administrative overhead, certainly by the, the number of the people on salary and staff, you can see that. But your, every dollar has such a significant impact and the vast majority of it goes directly to the programs. That's important to me as some, somebody who has you know, mo limited money to give, I wanna make sure it's gonna be in the most impactful place and I wanna make sure that it stays close to home. So that's why I give. Think about that. Thank you very much. Later on tonight, we will have um, a live ask. So think about some of the reasons you may want to give. Hopefully, you find that something to consider on your side. Um, and we want to just do a couple little things. So throughout the night, we're going to continue to talk about the impact. We have the organization receives letters from um, program participants, people that are familiar with us, people that provide services, people that receive services on a regular basis. And we picked out a couple of them to scatter throughout the program a little bit. I'm going to read the letter. Okay. So I have excerpts from a letter from a woman named Jane Thatcher. She's a social worker at the Annandale Terrace Elementary School. And she sent this program with uh, the letter with regard to the impact of a novel 
Nova Dental Hygienist Program and an MCCP partnership where they went to the Annandale School and they, um, well, you'll hear about what they did. So the letter starts with, my principal Lisa Pilson has a certain passion for children's dental health and she and Marcia Toomey handled this incredible opportunity to meet the dental health needs of our students. So far, 58 of our students have ridden a bus to your medical campus for cleaning and exams. This was in the spring, so it was before we had the dental van. 30 more students from our first grade classes have been seen in the school. All 48 of our Head Start classes watched a film about dental care and then were able to practice brushing their teeth on toothy puppets that the Nova students brought. I'm not sure who has enjoyed this experience more the Nova students or the Annandale Terrace students. One of your students also addressed our parents at one of our Friday morning coffees. Many of our parents have not had access to dental care themselves and they learned much about dental care that they didn't know. Yesterday I was in one of the first grade classrooms and two little girls ran up to me and said, please take us back to the dentist. Two other children came up and asked if I could take them to the dentist next time. Can you imagine what a lifelong gift you have given these children? They're not afraid of the dentist. They want to go again. They brush their teeth. They learned how important their dental health is. It only happened because of the support and encouragement of my principal, Mrs. Toomey and the MCCP Foundation, the amazing Mrs. O'Brien, and the enthusiastic students at NOVA. Watching our children's fears melt away as your students took time to reassure and comfort each and every one of them was wonderful. We look forward to doing it all again in the spring. I cannot thank you enough for your generous spirit, your gentleness with our students, and your careful referrals. What a gift, thank you all. Jane Thatcher, school social worker. As you heard Caroline say, um, MCCP is a very special place in my heart. Um, ANOVA has, it believes strongly in everything that MCCP does and is very lucky to be um, associated with MCCP. Um, I get to see, as Chief External Affairs and Communications Officer, what does that mean, right? Um, it's, it means a lot of things and it means a lot of do other duties as assigned. Um, but what it does mean is I kind of get an indirect um, front row seat to what we do in the community, and that means watching what some of our patients um, have to deal with on a daily basis. That's what makes what MCCP does and all of you that are here to support MCCP very, very important. So I personally believe in MCCP and their mission, um, and NOVA does as well, and I thank you all for everything that you do for the kids in this community. <clears throat> So um, we're going to start by talking about um, how we're creating a sustainable impact in the community by better addressing the needs of the Baileys and Colmore communities and ultimately the needs of MCCP children working with Deloitte to produce a gap analysis. By leveraging resources and partnerships through collaboration to care for more children by using a place-based model in two communities that we serve. In 2019, we implemented programming through the MCCP Mobile Dental Van and the NOVA Dental Program that provided access to oral health care and education to over 800 children, which is larger than the current student body at Annandale Terrace Elementary. All right, this is the fun part of the night because we get to recognize um, our community champions of children's health. Um, let's start. I'm going to invite you to the stage and um, ask you to uh, come as I start to talk about you individually and then I will continue talking a little bit about what you've done. All right, uh, we're gonna start with, uh, now this script, this is the fun thing about scripts is you never know what they're gonna do to you. <laughs> I wanna take, ask you to take a few minutes to read uh, the write-ups in the program, knowing that there's not enough time to eat this evening to go through all of this, and if you really wanna eat, which I know is important, it's important to me, um, and get home tonight, uh, but let's start, let's start with our first uh, recognition here. If Dr. David Treff, DDS, could come forward while I tell everyone. <laughs> while I tell everyone just a few of your many contributions to MCCP. 
Dr. Treff has been an amazing dental partner to MCCP by assisting with further treatment cases, serving children at a reduced rate or pro bono. His office will be coordinating a day of service through giving kids a smile where they will be treating the dental needs of MCCP children all day. He also serves as an advisor with our dental van and MCCP is grateful to Dr. Treff and his awesome staff for their continued commitment to serving MCCP children. Come on up. Next, uh, Maria Demarest, please come forward. Wow. You've got a fan club here tonight. Come on. <laughs> All right. Maria is a parent liaison at Bailey's Elementary School for the Arts and Sciences and literally serves as a lifeline to the many of the families she serves. As I understand it, no is not in her vocabulary. She works hard on connecting families to the resources they need to be successful. The community and MCCP are very fortunate to have Maria on their team. Thank you very much. Thank you. Last, but certainly not least, is Jane Thatcher. Jane is a social worker from Annandale Terrace Elementary. She works tirelessly on behalf of the students and families at Annandale Terrace. She is always looking for ways to assist her families by educating them in areas of daily living to ultimately lead them to be self-sufficient. She is always thrilled when she can assist one child, let alone the 60 plus, 60 plus through our dental program. Her smile and enthusiasm are infectious. Thank you. So tonight we're introducing a new award, uh, Corporate Community Champion of Children's Health. This year we're awarding Sydney Bresler, President and CEO of Robert I. Shatner Foundation. The funny thing about the music, <laughs> the funny thing about Sydney is that he thought he was going to be here this evening, but instead his family had other plans for him and has taken him on a surprise birthday trip to Montana. So we will be surprising him with this award presentation at what he believes is a family photo shoot where they are staying. So why did we decide that we couldn't wait until later or next year to recognize this amazing man because he was instrumental in bringing a vision of a mobile dental van to reality that will overcome one of the barriers of access to care for our children? Can he hear us? Can he hear us? Can you hear us? Can he hear us yet? Yes. Oh, well, hi, and surprise. <laughs> he believed us when we said MCCP Foundation could make a significant impact on addressing dental care in Fairfax County by bringing the services to the children where they live, play, and learn. So with the expertise of Alan Edwards of Computerware and his family, we are pleased to present Sydney Bresler with the Corporate Champion of Children's Health Award. Congratulations and thank you for believing in MCCP. Is he gonna speak? You are more than welcome to say anything. Or have your spokesperson say something. <laughs> Should we sing happy birthday to him really quickly? Let's sing happy birthday to him. Ready? Who wants to lead it off? Happy birthday.
and organization. Thank you so much and enjoy your time with your family. Marcia, you can have your drink now. It's all went well. <laughs> all right, we're ready for the next slide. We are so pleased to present the 2019 Dr. Jorge Arnoldson Memorial Award to Chairman Sharon Bulova with this most deserved recognition. The Dr. Jorge Arnoldson Memorial Award is given to a person or organization who has demonstrated a history of engagement in children's health issues and who embodies Dr. Arnoldson's credo that giving is a matter of conscience. Chairman, Charable, Chairman, Chair, oh my goodness. Chairman Sharon Bulova is unable to be with us in person this evening. However, we were able to record her receiving her award from Rosa Arnoldson. We are delighted that Rosa Arnoldson and her grandson are here this evening to celebrate this special recognition, as well as Lindsay Martin, Chairman Bulova's Chief of Staff. Thank you, Sharon, for your oh. service. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am very, very honored. This recognition really means a lot. And it's not just uh, me. This is really about the commitment that our Fairfax County Board of Supervisors has had over the many years that we've supported uh, medical care for children. No matter who's in office, we have always been supportive of making sure that children in our community if they do not have dental care and health care, have the opportunity to receive that. So thank you so much. This means a lot. Well, my role this evening is to um, inform you that actually the Commonwealth believes that MCCP uh, is a first class organization an organization that is worthy of partner with, partnering with, and an organization that is really worthy of your time, your energy, your commitment, and yes, your treasure. It makes such a huge difference to have angels like you in the community who are really willing to help our children, our children who don't have access to health care or dental care. It makes a big difference, not just to our children who are our future, but our families and our neighborhoods. And the government realizes that and understands that. So we're very appreciative. Often we have to find partners who have deep tentacles in the community, partners who can bring stakeholders together, like the doctors and the dentists and the social workers and the counselors and the parents and the volunteers. We also need partners who, are, who can go out in the community and find the angels, the angels who will help us raise money so public money as well as private money can be leveraged. And when a little bit is put together, everybody's little bit, it turns into something pretty significant. So I've been asked by Secretary, Dr. Carey, who is the Secretary of Health and Human Resources, I'm sure some of you know him personally, to uh, say a few words on his behalf. There is a letter in your program at the end of the, the book. So I won't read the entire letter, but I will highlight a couple of points he's made. And Quote, he says, as Secretary of Health and Human Resources, I've traveled the Commonwealth and seen firsthand the overwhelming need for accessible health services, especially in Northern Virginia. While the, the Northam administration has worked tirelessly to make quality health care affordable and accessible for all, we do know that many families continue to face barriers to care. In a safety net like MCCP, is absolutely critical. When we make quality health services accessible, we give more people choices, and we also give people the opportunity to thrive. Okay, I'm going off script a little bit. My words, not Dr. Carey's, when I said we give our people the opportunity to thrive, but I can tell you he feels that as well. So again, on behalf of the Commonwealth, thank you. And if you are so inspired this evening, you would like to keep donating, we would love to have you. <laughs> and you can even go home and check out our website. Have a great evening.
estaba bien mal. Y así fue como todo se fue dando bien rápido porque ella estaba bien mal de salud. Tenía fiebre, congestión, no podía respirar. Ella tenía una distrofia en los adenoides y las amígdalas. El doctor decía siempre que la llevaba a cualquier urgente que era la emergencia que necesitaba operación, pero que necesitaba tener los recursos económicos para poder hacérsela. Aquí en este país la salud es bien cara y no todos tenemos acceso. La llevé a, varia, a varios doctores y todos me sugirieron que necesitaba la operación. Fue una feria de salud que hubo en Lorton. Ella muy gentilmente pues me informó del programa de NCCP para los niños y llevé los documentos que ella me solicitó y pues gracias a Dios fuimos aprobados rápidamente. Gracias a Dios, eh, Kaiser Permanente y el programa de NCCP Cubrieron todos los gastos médicos de la operación de mi hija, doctores, enfermeras. Nos trataron como, nos trataron especial, un trato especial y nos brindaron toda la ayuda necesaria. El CCP ha ayudado a mis hijos eh, varones con sus eh, examen físico vacunas se las pusieron al día y pues el cuidado de sus ojos que fue recomendado por la escuela y pues eh, NCCP ayudó con eso. La verdad que no hay palabras para describir lo que siento, lo agradecida que me siento. Devolverle la salud a un hijo es bien, bien importante. Sentirse, sentir la cobertura, sentirse apoyado, no uno solo. Cuando yo conocí el programa este de NCCP, la vida de mi familia cambió. Cambió la vida de mi hija. Hace dos años, hace dos años, el 4 de julio, ella estaba y pues ella miraba la piscina con sentimiento y no podía disfrutar. Y este año pues estamos ansiosos esperando el verano porque va a poder disfrutar como una niña, como un niño normal con salud. Cuando uno siente que todo está perdido y, y que nadie puede ayudarle, se entera y se da cuenta pues que hay gente buena, gente altruista, gente que tiene los recursos y que está ahí para ayudarle. Gracias Caice Permanente, gracias en CCP por ayudarnos y pensar en personas como nosotros. Gracias.